Hi there, it's Tony Buck again. Did you ever want to put a rainwater barrel in your garden? Let me show you how I did mine. And here's the back of my house. All the gutters and downspouts lead all the way down to the water barrel, which is behind the greenhouse there. And then there's an overflow pipe, you're going to need that. Coming out there, that's water overflow pipe, which is PVC pipe. So here's the downspout, taking three roofs all the way down into my what I call my water barrel. As you can see, it's a garbage container. It was a lot cheaper. I bought it up at the Home Depot. These fancy schmancy water barrels cost a lot of money. This one has a faucet at the bottom and a faucet at the top. I put those in. Here's the detail of the downspout going into the top of the garbage container. And there's the faucet at the bottom. You can drill a one inch hole and screw it in and cork it with some silicon cork. That's what I did. And uh, down the garden, 20 feet away, is the hose with a on off on it so you can control the water. And in winter you can just open that up and I keep water in the container in the winter. Some say this water off of Asheville roofs is toxic, but I found it feeds the plants fine and I haven't lost any plants using it. Here's the faucet I put on the top. I was going to use that for an overflow, but it wasn't good enough. So I'm taking that off and I've drilled a two inch hole and I've put two inch plastic PVC in there. And uh, now that's going to be overflow because when the barrel fills up, it needs to keep going, you see. So I've made a little bit of a stub, that's two inch, a little piece I cut, and you can do that with uh, a hacksaw or a chop saw if you have it. Put it into a 90 and just push it in. I'm not going to glue any of mine because uh, sometimes I move them around and they stay in there pretty well. Sometimes I put a drywall screw in to hold them in place rather than glue them. And I'm connecting that to two inches. I had all this two inch left over from a job, so, you know, why, why go out and buy new? I looked for bits I had, and I'm going to run that along that little wall there. And there's another piece of two inch, and then it goes to one and a quarter, because that's what I've got laying around. And I've got a greenhouse I've tucked in just there, which wasn't there originally, so. There you go, just put a connector on. All this is available at good hardware stores. Um, it's not too expensive either. So just push it all together. If you decide to make it permanent, yeah, you can glue it up if you like. Anyway, just push it together. And uh, as I said, here's the uh, reducer. Goes from a two inch to a one and a half, from one and a half to one and a quarter inch. So I can use up all my surplus pipe. This is just the overflow, as you know. It's going down behind the, the greenhouse there. And as I said, water barrels can be expensive, but the garbage containers, that's a 100-gallon garbage container, a lot cheaper than the water barrels. There's a 90, and I'm just going to bring it there if you wanted to hide it because it's not very nice looking. You could spray it green, or you could hide it behind the bushes a bit better than I did. I'm just trying to show you how you can do it. And there it is just going on the ground. So, if you want to put a water barrel on your property it's a great idea and this way I also control the water on the overflow and put it back into the garden where I want it to be. There's the back of the house again all the gutters and downspouts leading to the water barrel and then from the water barrel along the hoses or through the overflow. Good luck! See you another time.